Like, is it is it to jump from what you said from going when you got here that you know I need to stop fouling to now you're not fouling enough? How difficult is it to kind of jump between those two? I mean, for me individually, it's still the mindset. Okay, I'm fouling enough. So for me, it's, it's still take care of myself out there. I feel like I'm needed and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in a situation where I foul silly. So as far as as a team I, th I don't think you you say you go in the game and say um, we wanna foul more, it's more okay, we're gonna be more physical. We're gonna let them feel us. And if that ends up in a foul call, that's okay. And we're just gonna go into the next possession and uh, don't be afraid of those fouls. With your improvement right now, with your improvement right now, a lot of people are thinking, hey, He's getting ready to, to go to make the jump to the next level. Do you have a plan? Do you think about that? Yeah, my you... plan is to uh, beat Wisconsin tomorrow. Gotcha. Well, you said, start you dialing. You start. Oh, go ahead. You said defense. Sorry about that. <laughs> you said defense is eighty percent mental. What does it take? What is it going to take for this team to get to that level where you are where you want to be on the defensive end? Uh, I think a lot of discipline. I coached down summed that up a couple of weeks ago. It's the two pains: the pain of discipline and the pain of regret. And especially on defense, you either you have to be disciplined in defense, um, keep believing in you and your uh, principles you practiced all year. And um, we still have, I don't know, around 30 practices this year. So um, we got to work on that every day, have the mindset that this is our weakness, and uh, have the willingness to improve. When uh, Beeline started dialing, he said he dialed you up a couple times and called plays for you in the second half there. He hasn't done that too often this year, it sounds like. Um, when he does it, and he's doing it repeatedly. I mean, does that is that just a confidence boost in itself, or um, it's obviously uh, great that he trusts me. But to be honest, I don't need I don't need him to dial up plays for me to know that he trusts me. Um, I mean, I'm out there for a reason, and that's enough for me. I don't need okay, him telling me we run this play tomorrow. So at the end of the day, we five plays out there just trying to score, and I don't care who scores. And it's obviously great that he trusts me, but. That's just uh, the second priority.